we are back yet again from easy webinar with another video this time which is the integration of easy webinar with a popular crm that is convertkit now as i say uh, in the starting of every video it's important to have an active crm account already just to sort of facilitate your understanding of the integration. So over here, we have a, my account, my active account open on the screen. Now, first things first, in order to establish the integration, one of the only things you will need is uh, the API key and the API URL as well. So to get that, we're going to click on the top profile icon and we're going to click on settings. And if we scroll down, you will be finding an option called uh, advanced settings, right? So what we have to do is to click on advanced settings wait for the page to load and we'll have uh, the api key and the api secret code uh, visible right there on the screen now it's very important to keep a copy of these uh, you know keys and urls keys and secret codes because it, it's the first thing that you need you know to to initiate the integration uh, from easy webinars uh, end now the integration is done, you know, the way to go about the integration is done. The next step is how to create, um, uh, you know, a, a form essentially in ConvertKit. Now in HubSpot and Active Campaign, we haven't come across the concept of a form, right? So nothing to get afraid about. Um, the form is analogous to a list uh, in HubSpot, right? So all you have to do is click on the grow option and then click on landing pages and forms. You will get to see all the forms that you know, you've created so far. So for us, we've created like two uh, forms that we wanted to test before we recorded this video. So we can just go ahead and create a brand new form just, uh, you know, for the sake of this presentation. So let's just go ahead and do that. Right. So we hit to create new select form because it's important to uh, you know have uh, the form now you can select any template here but i'm going to go ahead and select the inline font so we're going to choose uh, the first uh, template that comes to our mind now you can do whatever you want with this form you can change its background color you can change the way it looks you can change you know uh, uh, the whole setting of the form but we can just go ahead and give it a better name so let's call it um maybe let's just call it uh, let's just give it today's date so 28th march ew testing right now no matter what you do please do not forget to save your form or list or tags or whatever you right so whatever you have please don't forget to to save it so we have created a form of our own and we have saved it as well now the next step that we need to take is to know how to create a tag now how do we do that pretty simple so uh, you click on grow and you will get an option called subscribers so if you if you if you scroll down on the right hand side of the page you would see a section called tags and an option to create a tag so creating a tag is pretty simple let's just give it uh, you know today's date so 283 ew tag Let's just save the tag, obviously, like every other step. Now the field, now the, now the tag has been created. The next step is to create a field. So how do we do that? Now, this is also pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the form that you've just created because you'd want that particular field to be associated to that form or to that list, right? So we'll scroll down. We find the form that we are looking for, which is 283 EW testing. Please click on it and it will show you the template of the form. Now, somewhere in the template of the form, there would be a plus or an add icon. Click on that. The moment you do that, you see the right section of the page, save as custom field section opens up, right? Now, just like in every other video, please remember that this custom field has to match the name of the custom field or the custom property in your easy webinar account so i've set up the custom field webinar join link in easy webinar already so we're going to go ahead and select that so doing this ensures that whichever participant uh, enters your webinar or registers for your webinar their details and their webinar join links get synced up with their information in your crm which in this case is convertkit so we go ahead and select a webinar join link and of course as always please don't forget to save this as well so at this point we've learned what is the first step of integrating ck with ew we've learned how to create a list aka a form we've learned how to create a tag we've also learned how to create a field so our job our task in convertkit is officially done so what do we do next the next step is actually going over to uh, your easy webinar account and establishing the fact that you're going to integrate your application with 
uh, ConvertKit. So you click on integration, search for ConvertKit, found it, and you'll see a connection is already there because we were testing it prior to this video, right? So we can go ahead and disconnect it because we're gonna show you everything from scratch. So we do that and remember the API key and the API secret that, that we were talking about. So we need those here. So since I didn't save it separately, let's just go ahead and do that here. So let's just scroll down. We have advanced and uh, let's just wait for the API key and the API secret to be visible. So let's just copy the API key, paste it here. And also let's just copy the secret code. So the, you know, when we do that, we establish uh, the, the fact that the integration is finally complete. Now this is an extra step of precaution, which you all know I, I do all the time. It's just to sort of reload the list to ensure that, you know, all the lists are synced up and your forums are all in sync. And please don't forget to reload the tag as well. Again, an extra step here just to ensure the integration is done. Click on update again, just as a step of precaution and we are done. Now we have, uh, you know, integrated easy webinar with in the application with ConvertKit. But how do we go about integrating a particular webinar with that of ConvertKit? Very simple. Go to that webinar page, click on integration and wait for the action value pair page to open up uh, once you connect to ConvertKit, of course. So you see, you know, we had already tested it out. So I'm going to delete this to show you everything. So, um, you know, the, the action value pair that I love including is, you know, if somebody has registered for our uh, your webinar, then we add a tag to them. The tag is the one that I want, the one that I created today with you all. So let's just see 28.3 EW tag. Now, let me remind you here, there might be times when, you know, this tag might not be visible. Please don't think the integration is not working because it is. So all you have to do is just reload the tags. So maybe it takes a little bit of, you know, a number of times of reloads and retries for this tag to appear but i assure you it will if the integration is done properly so 28.3 ew tag and you click on save the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sync up the custom fields as well so you click on advanced settings fields or custom fields right uh, now you go down and you have the default section right not custom field the default section so you click on custom field this was done already so click on custom field and you see webinar join link was the custom property we created in r4 right so we want to sync those two up here this is the webinar join link from our crm which we are linking up to the webinar join link which is present in your easy webinar account right so we sync that up and we click on save it's very important to click on save because we want all the changes to be restored and locked in right so our integration is actually done now um the final step here just to show you is the integration working what do we do as always we're going to register for the webinar so we're going to register for this particular webinar and i'm going to use a different set of credentials here not the ones that i usually use so i'm going to give it my name which is et mitra and for the email i'm going to say uh you know uh pt.mitra13 at the rate gmail.com um you know i just totally made that up fabricated it on my own but you know let's just register right it should be visible in convertkit so the moment we are in the moment we register for this webinar our details should technically be there in the convert kit that's the final proof of your integration so we move over to our convert i'm sorry our convert kit account hit uh, the grow uh, option and then we look at subscribers now uh, when you click on subscribers the first thing you're going to see is there are no subscribers so again please don't think your integration hasn't worked because it has all you have to do is you have to click on the drop down and please select all subscribers because we aren't confirmed subscribers at this point which is something that's done by the admin so if you see here voila you know my credentials are there and uh, if you click on my contact you will get to see a the tags that i'm associated with and you'll also get to see uh, the custom field whether it was you know integrated with my details or not so let's just go down so if you go down on the left hand side of the screen you'll see that my webinar joint link is right in the crm so custom field integration has worked and if you want to see the tag that i've been associated with that's exactly what we wanted 28 slash 3 ew tag that's the one that we created together right so this is pretty much all in uh, the integration of ConvertKit with Easy Webinar, I hope uh, you know you guys understood whatever I said. If there are any doubts you face, you know the support team is always there to answer your questions and we reach out to you in no time um we will be making a couple of more videos focusing just on the integration you know how to go about it without any errors or hiccups and you know till we come back with another video this is me signing off i hope you have a great day ahead take care bye bye see you soon